Hi everyone, welcome to Poonam's Kitchen. This video I'm going to share with you a secret trick to make instant dahi bhallas. Yes, you heard it right, instant dahi bhallas. Supposedly proposed by the master chef Sanjeev Kapoor. Making bhallas, also known as varas in the South Indian cuisine, is a multiple step process. Soaking the lentils, grinding them after a few hours, and then frying the dumplings in the hot oil. With the secret trick, this is an instant process. Yes, instant process. It was shared with me by the hostess at one of the parties I attended a few years back. I have built a recipe around this idea to make a spicy lips packing appetizer. If you like this recipe, do give this video a thumbs up, like my Facebook page at Poonam's Kitchen. And remember to subscribe to my channel. And hats off to the master chef, Sanjeev Kapoor. Now let's quickly make the hibhalas. To make the hibhalas, here I have the he that is plain yogurt, tamarind chutney, green chutney mix. This is a highly concentrated mix, that is why I have taken very little quantity, roasted cumin seeds powder, red chilli powder, chaat masala and salt. And here are the bhallas or the vadas. This looks like a regular bhalla that is made by soaking the lentils, grinding it and then frying it. These are not actually the fried bhallas. These are the jeera biscuits. This is the secret trick that I was talking about. They taste exactly like bhallas or vadas when they are soaked in yogurt. So let's see how to use these as the bhallas. In the normal course, we soak the regular bhallas in warm water. But for this recipe, I prefer to take water at room temperature and heat these biscuits in the microwave for around 40 seconds. I will align these biscuits at the circumference of the plate for even heating. So this goes in the microwave for 40 seconds. So here I have the bhallas. I will soak this in water for around 2-5 to five minutes. Each biscuit will take a different amount of time to soften up anywhere between two to five minutes and while these soak and soften up i'll prepare the yogurt here i have homemade yogurt i'll whip this up you do not want any lumps for this recipe i have consciously taken yogurt that is not very thick if the yogurt is thick i'll suggest that you dilute it with some more milk or water because once we put the bhallas in the yogurt the bhallas are going to absorb a lot of moisture from the yogurt Let's take a look at the biscuits. You do not want the biscuits to be crunchy. You want them to be soft. Squeeze out the excess water by pressing the biscuits between my palms very gently. Exactly the way you do for your fried bhallas. You do not want them to disintegrate. These three are still a little crunchy. I'll wait for another minute. Don't leave the biscuits for too long in the water else they will start disintegrating in the water itself. You don't want that either. A few more seconds. We should be done by now. Here we have all the bhallas nice and soft. Let's start assembling. This is the plate in which I plan to serve. I'll pour this whipped yogurt at the base. Serve as a bed for the bhallas. Gently place the bhallas. See, I took a big plate because they swell when they absorb the moisture. Out of this, I'll pour some more yogurt. Pouring more curd than I need at the time of serving because I know the bhallas are going to absorb moisture. Now let's spice this up. Red chili powder, as per taste. Chaat masala, again as per taste. And the most essential spice for this, roasted cumin powder. Dahi bhallas or dahi varas are incomplete without the cumin powder. On top of this, a bit of this green chutney mix. I am adding little quantity because as I said, this is concentrated. When mixed with yogurt, this is going to give very nice flavor. And last but not the least, the tamarind chutney. This is again one of the essentials in any Indian chart. Needs to go in the refrigerator for at least half an hour to give the bhallas sufficient time to absorb moisture. Add the spices and the chutneys at the time of serving. Since I wanted to show to you how I do it, I have added those things at this stage. Also add salt as per taste at the time of serving. Never add salt beforehand. 
If you do that, the yogurt starts oozing out water. That's not appealing at all. Now this is the dahi bhalla platter that is usually served as an appetizer in the North Indian cuisine. I wish to serve this in the South Indian style. I will temper this with mustard seeds, whole red chilies and curry leaves that have been sautéed in oil. Now how to convert this into dahi bhalla chaat that is served as a snack item. We need to add a few more things before we put in the spices. And you have a choice of what you want to add to your dahi bhalla chaat. Here I have boiled chickpeas, diced boiled potatoes, grapes, blueberries, chopped cilantro leaves. If I'm adding these to make the dahi bhalla chaat, then I need to add spices for these things as well. For now, let me store the dahi bhallas in the refrigerator for half an hour. This is how the dahi bhallas look after sitting in the refrigerator for almost 30 minutes. You can now see that each bhalla is now standing out. There's just the right amount of yogurt for these bhallas. And just look at how thick the yogurt is now. It's no more runny like it was initially. Just perfect. Remember the size of the biscuits initially? Just see how big the bhallas are now. Let me take one bhalla out on the plate and show you how it looks from inside. Let me cut through this. Soft. Super soft. And this is how the insides look. So spongy. Mmm. Tastes yum. I must try. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you liked my recipe. See you again with a new idea, a new recipe, a new trick very soon. Till then, bye.